we've made some major adjustments. And I'm excited to see what I'm capable of in my very first rematch against a guy that I've already beat. You know, it was like the first time I fought Daniel, it was like, well, he's undefeated. Man. Maybe he has, maybe he has it, you know, maybe he has that it factor. You know, some people have that it factor, like mm-hmm. Floyd Mayweather or, or Kale Sanderson or, or just people who can actually go undefeated. And now that I found out that he doesn't have it, I'm excited to, to freaking be, be the GOAT. And freaking not only beat this guy, but to finish him that this time. And this is what my my camp has expected out of me: is finishing people, uh, and to to provide an output that I don't believe he can handle. So um, so we're excited. We're really excited about this. Thanks, John. John, you know you ain't finishing nobody. When was the last time you finished anybody? Now you're gonna come back after all this time away and finish me? You've lost your mind. You're not finishing anything. Let's take our next question from Stephen Morocco with MMAJunkie.com. Please go ahead. Well, I just kind of wanted to follow up on that, Daniel. Um, kind of wanted to just ask you how uh, John is coming across to you in this call, um, talking about uh, doing the right things, forgiving himself, saying it could be anybody in the cage. How's he coming off to you? Uh, I don't know, because I don't really care. You know, I don't care if he's made changes in his life. I could give two shits if he goes to the if he goes to church every day and he's he, he's reading his Bible and he's doing everything perfectly right. I could I could I don't care. I don't care if he's out every single night partying. I could give two shits. All I care about is him getting to the octagon on Saturday. He talks about confidence. He talks about finishing. He talks about working hard and all these other things. These are things that champions just do. These are these are the attributes of, uh, of a champion in general. It's not about what you do afterwards. These are things that you should always do. And these are the things that I, I have always done that I'm always going to continue to do. Uh, so yeah, he's confident, but, but I'm over here confident too. And uh, I don't have to tell you. I just, I'm just going to show you on Saturday night. The one thing that I do take, Stephen, is that John hasn't done this for a while because he's a little bit long-winded. <laughs> Um, and, John, what was going on with you during that Fox interview this past Saturday when you tore off the headset and you walked out of the shot? Was that just the way it played out in the moment, or was it, or was it something else? Uh, the, you know, it, yeah, it was... Uh, you mean me walking off at the, at the end of the interview? Yeah. I felt like the interview was over. Okay, it seemed like you kind of stormed stormed off. It didn't seem like a natural exit, so I just wanted to you know, clarify. I, what I had uh, I had my uh, my blue belt ceremony to get to too. I was like, uh, I was late for that, and, and I felt like the interview was over, and and I uh, just wanted to be on time and not miss that ceremony. I feel like the rivalry. Well, I think Dan was right. It's not really a rivalry. Like I said, the whole beginning of this thing, I tried to be nice to him. As a young black kid, seeing that he's came as his coach, and he was a wrestler who had far greater credentials as me, I thought I was going to freaking meet this guy. I thought we were going to be cool. I thought we would have a new inside joke every time I saw him. And his pride and his whatever pre-notions, ego that he had about me before, he, I, I didn't know who he was. He knew who I was when we met. And, and um, anyway... Anyways, I never had a problem with him. I don't have problems with people that I've beaten already. I don't got a problem with Glover or Chael or Andre Guzman, none of those guys. He has a problem with me. And I hate him because he hates me. But anyways, this whole this whole this whole thing that we're going through, um it 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 it, it has become uh, an attack of my character. That's all this thing is. It's an attack of my character. When people ask Daniel what he thinks about me inside of the octagon, he can't. He has shit to say about me, and I'm here to fight. I'm not here to to protect my, you know, my whether you think I'm a good person or not. I've given up on that. I don't give a crap what people think about me at this stage in my career. I, I freaking not even an ounce. I'm happy with with the father I am and the person that I am, the friend that I am, the teammate that I am. Everybody else don't even matter. Their opinions don't even matter. 
And and this whole thing, to answer your question, how has it evolved or not evolved? It this is the first time I've been against someone who is literally just fighting to prove that I'm a bad guy. Fuck it, call me the bad guy. I'm not fighting to be the good guy. I've never had anyone just attack. I mean, listen to his interviews. It's always the same shit. Now he's trying to freaking convince the world that I did steroids. That 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 actually gets to me a little bit because. I think deep down, this motherfucker knows that I wouldn't do steroids. Come on now. Come on now. Being the youngest champion. You mean to tell me I'm smart enough to outsmart fucking USADA and fucking the Nevada Athletic Commission for 10 years? But I fell a Coach King test? I'm a mastermind steroid user that beat all these guys for 10 years? He knows in his heart that I didn't do steroids. But anyways... Anyways, the right. I feel like I answered your question. I, this this whole thing has become a tag of John Jones's character. I feel like when Daniel loses, he'll be able to say, "Well, I'm a fucking good guy. I'm a good guy, and, and at least people will respect me for being a good champion when I had that belt in John's absence." And and, and I think that he deserves respect because he is a good guy. But you don't have to shit on other people to try to make yourself seem that much better, Daniel. We see that you're a good person. We can see that you're a great husband, father, wrestling coach, team captain. Do I admire a lot of things about you? You're a fucking great dude. But you don't got to fucking try to convince the world that I did steroids, bro. To fucking just fucking say, look yourself in the mirror and say, God damn it, he's younger than me. He's athletic and he beat my ass. And he's going to do it again. Don't fucking try to crush somebody else's image to... to Make yourself seem more more mighty. You're already a fucking good dude. 